So, um, can I uh, uh, train up my current team? Yes. Um, the one problem, let me go, where's my Azumaro? So the one problem, there's, there, there's three things. The mints, you can just use with ease. Those are super easy to change your nature to a useful one. So like, for example, this, um, this guy, I think, I forget if he came. What does it say here? No, he came with mild nature. I used the adamant uh, mint on him. So he has, you can see on the attack and the special attack, the plus attack, the minus special attack. So that's what the mint does. That's the e that's the easiest thing. Um, hyper training is then also easy. It's just a little expensive. You um, you need to use the bottle caps, which cost twenty thousand money a piece. Um, and so then you can increase your stats to hyper train, which is the same as best. Who has best? Um, so like. My Miascarada's HP and defense were all, and HP and speed were already best, so those you can't hyper drain. But my attack was bad, so I hyper drained that. And I just haven't spent the money to do my special defense and defense on it yet. Um so that you can do on any Pokemon. The third piece you cannot do on any Pokemon just straight away is EV training, effort value training. EV training, the letters E and V, stands for effort values, which I will explain in a moment. I am very glad there isn't something else commonly discussed in the Pokemon games that sounds identical to EV training. That would be confusing. <laughs> EV training, effort value training. So for that, this is my Azumarill that I use throughout my entire playthrough. Um, so I pull up switch graph view, so you can see the, uh, so the, the, the yellow diamond is its base stats, I believe. Um, where's something else that I can see? Yeah, the yellow diamond is its base stats, and then the, um, the orange, red, whatever one is, uh, no, sorry, the, the, blue, the bluish one is then how you've EV trained it. So this Azumarill I played through the game with versus my Cerule Edge, I specifically EV trained. So you can see that it has all of its points in HP and attack. That's what the effort values do. Versus this Azumarill is just whatever I randomly was fighting as I played through the game. Um, so it it got a lot of attack and a lot of speed, but it also has some a bunch of special attack investment that I'm not using at all on this Pokemon. So the if you want to use the Pokemon that you already have, what you'll need to do is use some of the rare berries to decrease the effort values you don't want. So I can do that right now. I can do that on my Azumarill. Um, See, Harry uh, will lose base points for its special attack stat. Let's use these Hondu berries on my Azumarill. Let's use um. Oh, oops. Um, let's use use ten. Oh, oh, oh! It's telling me what the maximum I need is. Oh, that's wonderful. So yeah, I'll use seven, and its base special attack stat can't go lower. You can see the the thing. So now when we go back, um, now all see so see that special attack graph has now shrunk down because I removed all of that special attack effort value. Um, and so now I can go put those points into. Attack, special defense, defense, speed, HP. And I think I will actually go do that right now since I spent the resource. Let's go do it. Let's give you more attack. Um, so to get more attack, I'm going to give you the held item, the power bracer. Yes. And then I'm going to go fight a bunch of chances for experience and a little HP EV. 
So if you're if you're just trying to make your starting team a little stronger, like I just did, um, you can do it this way. If you're trying to competitively like optimize and min max, um, you'll want to start with ideally you'll want to start with a fresh Pokemon that's not trained at all, and then like count and track exactly how many how many of which effort value you've applied. And hyper training is done at the guy at Montenevra. Uh, where's the map? Hyper training is done in this town. There's a guy standing next to an Obama snow, like right here. Um, and he's the one who, you, who you'll use the, the bottle caps with to hyper train. Nope, wrong button. And now I'm going to use a sandwich to make Chansey's spawn. M sandwich! All right, and so I'm doing this because I want the I want I'm, I'm I'm doing two things at once. I want experience, and uh, and the effort values, and uh, so I want attack is why I equipped the power bracer, and I want HP is why I'm going to be fighting Chanseys. Chanseys are also really good experience, so that's why I used the or so not an encounter plus normal to make a whole bunch of Chanseys spawn here. So now as I knock out uh, Chanseys, each Chansey gives me two HP EVs and wearing the Power Bracer gives me eight attack EVs. So that will help make, me, my, make my Azumarill stronger. Let's check how we're doing. Not quite maximized, but very close. Oh yeah, so it looks like the attack isn't able to maximize because I... Um, too much invested in speed, HP, defense, and special defense. But that's fine, you still got the demonstration. All right, so I've decided I want my Pokemon to be trained in a specific way. How and where do I go about doing that? So here in the hometown, um, the, the, basically there's two options. You can spend time or you can spend money. Uh, money is much faster, obviously, but much more expensive. It costs about $500,000 to train a Pokemon with money. You come to Chansey Supply and you buy vitamins. All six of these vitamins give a 10 to their respective effort value. And uh, a Pokemon can have a maximum of 508. You're going to have 252 in one stat, 252 in one stat, and four in another. Or obviously you can do smaller values divided however you want among the six stats. Um, if you want it to be bulky, maybe HP and your attack stat. If you want it to be, uh, you know, fast and, and damaging, maybe uh, speed and your special attack stat, whatever it may be. The vitamins give 10 each and they cost 10,000 each. So that's about 500K. And if you want to do smaller increments, the feathers that you get from raids and picking up along the ground um, give one each. So if you need to do like four in something, that's what these are for. Um, there's a whole bunch of complicated math and such for what you want in which effort value and why it's sometimes better to do four in this and just get one point because you get one point with four points and, and then, it, then it goes to every eight point. I'm not going to go into the detailed advanced math. I'm just showing you how to do it. So that's the how you spend money is with these. If you want to spend time over money, you do need to do a purchase, which is over here at Delibird Presents. You need to buy the bracers. Gotta love that store entering animation. It's under general goods. So here you are, the power items. Um, the six power items corresponding to the relative stat. Um, when equipped, this will give plus eight to that stat in effort value for every Pokemon you knock out. Um, so anytime you gain experience, you gain effort values until you're maxed out. Which is important because I did run into a shiny Pokemon and looked it up. Catching a Pokemon and getting the experience from that does give you the effort value. So for counting, I needed to uh, pay attention to that. So you buy the bracers and then you go, you, you buy the, the power items and then you go knock out Pokemon that you want. Um, I, I ended up buying five of each so that I could do groups of Pokemon at a time. But um, start with one of each is perfectly fine. They're 20k each, so that would be 120k. Um, so where do you want to go train? Um, for HP, I like going up here to North Area Province 3. 
or area north north province area three what did it say up here by the fairy squad base i like going up here using a ham sandwich and hunting down chancy um uh, I try. I, I prefer not to do ones with sandwiches just to save the effort of making the sandwich. But uh, this one, Chansey gives so much experience. I can double dip with that. Every Chansey gives two HP effort value. And then also up here, there is another species that is useful for training a different stat. Um, I just need to find a pack of them. What was that? Oh, that's going to be. Oh, here we are. The Flabebe. A chancy for HP, and then these, uh, sorry, fl these floets give two in special defense. So I will uh, run around hunting packs of these if I need special defense. That is um, up here at the very north of the map. I fly to North Air North Province Area 3, and then either with the sandwich I'm hunting chancies or uh, I'm hunting the floets uh, along here. Attack, I go down here to South Province Area 3. And for attack here in South Province Area 3, there are Shinx. They usually come in big packs like this. And there's also occasionally Youngus. Youngus? These little guys. So Shinx and these little guys each give one attack effort value for each one you knock out. So with the Power Bracer equipped, that's nine. So that's attack for defense. That is, I like going to Los Platos. For defense, I come here to Los Platos and I start exploring. I might want to do this with a bug sand a bug encounter rate sandwich next time, because you're looking for the little spider and the little scatter bug, the little tarantula and the, sp the scatter bug. Um... Oh, I found a whole mass of them. Hey, look at that. Perfect for AD training. Um, so yeah, these guys are perfect for uh, your defense. Um, where is next? A special attack you can also get sort of in this area from, um, Psyduck. A lot, there's a little pond right over by this bridge that they tend to spawn in. You can get HP off these Azurl if you need, and the, uh, and off the Lechonk. And then Psyduck tend to spawn, um, the Psyduck here give a special attack. So anywhere there's water, there's often Psyduck, so that's usually a good place to train for it. Um, the other place for special attack is over uh, west of Mesa Goa in the farms, hunting down Mareep. The electric sheep gives uh, the correct effort value for special attack. Mareep, where are you? Oh, here's here a flock of Mareep. So these will give you special attack for each one you knock out. Then the last stat is speed. Speed's the easiest to find a place. You fly to the Poco Path Lighthouse at the very start of the game. Then you jump over the cliff and down in the water is gonna be everything you need. Just jump yourself over the cliff and right down here is everything you need. In this area, spawn Wingull, Magikarp, and Buizel, and all three of which give you one speed effort value. So you can just run around this beach here, keep uh, knocking them out, or, or just out in the water right here a little bit, and they will give you the effort value you need for speed. I will see you on the ranked ladder now that your Pokemon are fully trained. Thank you for joining me.